just want to go over some of the new gadgets I've had recently. Um, some of them have been given to me over Christmas and some of it is stuff that either been sent to me or I bought it. Uh, one of these, for those with a GoPro, might find this very useful. It's an additional lamp. Now, it's pretty bright. I'll try not to flash you in the face, but it, as you can see, it works really well. There's different modes on it as well, so it's not... You can dim it down a little bit so it's not too much light. Um, it's done by Subtig. Well, Subtig waterproof video light. That's the reason I bought it. It's waterproof. So you can add this to your uh, GoPro. Let's cover this first and then I'll show you how it connects up. Uh, the first thing you've got is it does come with an extra clip, which is pretty tight. So you, you get this little clip with it. It comes with a cable, it comes with this little spanner thing, whatever that does. I think this is for something else. Have, let's have a quick little instruction on that one. It's a little spanner thing. What's that do? Okay, the instructions don't really help. Okay, so instructions didn't really help with that. <laughs> so, yeah, instructions useless. So I've got that, not 100% what it does. It might be a case of you can thread it through so you can attach it somewhere so that you don't drop it. Not 100%. Uh, to undo it, I've got a black shirt, it makes it difficult to see this. There's a little clip here. Just flick that through, opens up, opens like this. It's a little battery pack and there's a little connector there for charging. That you can see there. So it's very simple. Just put the battery in it. It points up. Drop them in there. It'll switch automatically switch itself on. So just turn it off. Put the clip on, and that's that ready. So we've got my GoPro here. Now this GoPro, it'll have to fit under the GoPro on this one because. The mountain I've got, it won't go on above it. It's got, it's got to go under it. So what you do is remove your GoPro like this, and take the, the mountain off, fit this one where the GoPro was, then tighten this bolt up. Da -da -da. Can't put any exciting music on there. I've got nothing. Tighten that up. It's a little bit loose on this because this one, this one's had a bit of damage with uh, this one's actually been in water, so <laughs> and it's not designed for it. Um, and obviously we've got the bracket on the GoPro that's actually wanting this clip. So undo this, put the clip back on the GoPro, drop the GoPro in there, put the bolt through it. Tighten that up, and that's it. So, as you can see, this one's a little bit tight, loose. If you do get something like this, this is loose actually from being in the water. Uh, it's damaged it a little bit. Just put some washers in there, ideally rubber ones or something that ain't gonna rust in the water. Um, but I just wanted to show that you just put your camera on, switch your light on, and away you go. Um, it's going to be pretty obvious that it improves the footage um, at night, but also underwater, which is the reason I bought this one. It's actually for going down the side, you know, when we're out with the snorkel and stuff, so I can get some decent pictures. But I thought I'd share that because they're pretty cheap. You know, uh, found out on Amazon, it's a bargain. Um, works well, solid enough, can adjust the light in. And the other thing with that is because it's got this mount here, some of the other GoPro ones uh, means you can put it on a little tripod or something, which also means it's useful for not just the GoPro, but like say, as you can see, you probably know it's the light in here isn't great. I could actually hook it on the back of the um, back of the webcam on the top to actually improve the lighting in the room as well. 
Thanks for watching. But yeah, I do. I think they're worth the money. I know it's plastic. It's well built. It's sealed. Um, battery life's all right, and it actually feels like a good quality product for the for the price. Right, thanks for watching.